Hey guys, what's going on? Michael White here, your favorite developer, and I've just finished another trip around the sun. So I'm another year older, another year wiser, and another year closer to 40, but we're not gonna talk about that. With inflation being ridiculous and the economy being absolutely wild right now, there's a lot of people looking to make more money, right? We all want more money. Our money's losing value right now. We need more money. So there's a lot of people looking to make the career shift into tech. And they're coming from all sorts of backgrounds, right? I did this myself. I went from teaching martial arts to becoming a developer. So I know the struggle, right? I needed the money too, man. <laughs> you know, I started learning how to code. I built my community Discord. I built this YouTube channel. And I've been able to talk to a lot of people who are making the same change. And something that I noticed is that people that are younger, let's say 18 to like early 20s, they jump into it, no problem. They fully commit, they immerse themselves, and they're like all about it. But for the older people, whether it's a limitation that's, that's self-imposed or maybe a fear of change, there's resistance to it, you know? Like, they want to make the career change, become a developer, but there is some sort of resistance. And I just want to let you know, you can definitely become a developer post-30. I did it. I'm proof. And there's tons of others out there who have also done it. So you're not alone. It's been done. But it's really all about mindset, you know? When you're 18, the universe pretty much hands you a giant slab of concrete and like a little chisel and says, here, make who you want to be, right? That's it. There's no instructions. There's no tutorial. You're left alone there with your little chisel and you just hack away at it trying to make the person you want to be, you know? You build relationships. You start building habits. You start finding out things you like, things you dislike. You start really figuring out who you are as a person. You start figuring out things you can do, things you can't do. And then by the time you get to 30, you had this finished product, right? You had this statue. Some people look at that statue and they think it's beautiful. It's the best thing they've ever seen. And they go on the rest of their lives just how they are, only making small refinements to it, you know, sharpening it up. And there's nothing wrong with that. More power to you. But then there's the other group of people. This is the group I fall in. <laughs> where they look at that statue and they're like, oh no, something's got to change. Something's got to change. <laughs> And then this is where the situation gets dicey, right? If you guys know anything about a statue, it's very hard to make big changes to a statue that's already finished, right? And it's the same with people. Once you have that first statue made at 30, you're pretty set in your ways, right? It can be hard to make a big change. And sometimes making that big change just breaks everything else, right? Like if you're drinking and you're out partying every night and you try to learn a new skill, you might be taking on a little more than you can chew, you know? That leads to burnout, exhaustion. You might swear off change altogether, right? And I look at that like trying to make a change on the statue and then you mess something up. There's no way to go back. Once you mess something up on the statue, it's, it's done, right? So this is when you have to make a hard choice, right? You can keep trying to make changes to the statue that's already done, but you risk breaking it and just making it worse, right? Or you can just get a new slab of concrete and start all over. Now, starting over is hard. It's hard. But if you're making a big change to your life, it's what you have to do. You're going to have to build new habits. You're going to have to change your lifestyle, right? You might have to change the people you hang around. There's going to be a huge sacrifice. What's up, y'all? Future Michael here. Somewhere in this uh, Obama-style change rant, I left out the most important part of the whole video. If you do decide to start over with a brand new big slab of concrete, it's your chance to redefine what you can and what you can't do. That's one of the biggest things I see. So many people tell themselves they can't do something or just believe that they can't just from the experiences they had, you know, through their 20s. And when they get to their 30s, they just think it's something that's impossible for them. And one of the biggest benefits of being willing to start over and start new is being able to redefine what you can and can't do. Well, anyways, I'm out of here. This is Tara. And we're going to pass it back to um, past Michael. Future Michael really needs to stop showing up in these videos. You're going to have to give up pieces of who you were to become somebody new. And it is hard. It is difficult. But you learn the biggest lesson in all of this. You learn that nothing's set in stone. At any time, you can start over and change your life. It will come at a cost. It will take a lot of effort. But you can always change and become whatever you want to be. Anything's possible. So if you're over 30 and you're looking to make the career change in the tech, yes, it is very possible. You can do it 100%. But just know, 
that it's going to require some sort of sacrifice. All right, you're going to have to change something. Just clearing out 30 minutes on your schedule to chip away at coding is not going to be enough to get it. All right. But what's cool about all this is that you're giving yourself the ability to learn again. And once you have the ability to learn, there's like nothing you can't do. Anything can be learned. It's hard to get in the habit of learning. But once you're in the habit of learning, it's a very good habit to hold on to. Possibilities are pretty much limitless. I know that sounds cliche, but it's true. Well, that's going to do it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, do like and subscribe to the channel. You can support me with the links down below. And let me know in the comments, have any of you guys made any big life changes post 30 or jumped into tech post 30? And how'd it go for you? All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.